All right, 2000 Ford Expedition XLT ABS sensor. All right, so you do have to take the rotor and the dust shield off. It is tucked in there and hard to get to. And if you have spacers, an obnoxious amount, you have to take those off too. All right, so it's an 18 on this guy. Easiest way that I've found to take any of these rusty bolts off. Get you a wrench like this, hold tension and tap the top with the hammer. The shock breaks them free every time. All right, these three on the dust shield are eight millimeters. Your uh, sensor is up under here. And for the next step, you'll need your trusty key of Allen. That is for the sensor itself. Now this might be a tricky one, I don't know, let's find out. All right, once you get the key of Allen to get your screw out, you got your sensor, it pulled out pretty easy for me, hopefully it's good for you guys too. And then pop that new one back in, bolt your stuff back together and you're good to go. See you good. All right, so when tightening this, don't tighten it too tight, about wrist tight, as much as you could do with just twisting your wrist. Plug this guy in there, rod it right up, See the top plug, and then you're good to go.